Scorpio. What's popping water, baby? What is going on in the grand lux life of a Scorpio during this damn rich grade? <laughs> y'all be waking up goofy as hell, don't mind me, okay? But y'all, this is a retrograde bonus video for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs of Scorpio. You know why I'm doing this? Because I believe in reciprocity. And this, everybody didn't make the cut. You know, because y'all care about that type of shit. And I, I'm from Oz. I do too. Everybody didn't make the cut. I had to give love to those who give love back to me. Scorpio, those views though. Those comments though. To the new subscribers. Welcome to the family, boo. To everybody who's been a part of the family. Y'all, thank you for all the continued love. Like I told to it, I'm not going to cry. I'm super emotional during this retrograde. I'm not going to cry. Okay? But I am going to say thank you. I love you. I appreciate every single comment, every single view, every single piece of love that you give me. And right now, I return it back to you. Right now, I send you nothing but waves of abundance and overflow of abundance. That's in love. That's in prosperity. That's in wealth. That's in great health. That is to you and your families, baby. This is a time of abundance and many blessings. The time of the re reconnections renews, rebirths, reconsiderations, okay, reconciliations, reunions, okay, redos, all of the re. It's Mercury retrograde, well, it ain't just Mercury, Mercury, Mars, uh, Neptune in retrograde, uh, Venus is in retrograde, all of this stuff. I know y'all went out there, if some of those, uh, some of those Scorpios who do moon gazing. I know y'all seen our planet. I know y'all seen Mars sitting out still behind the moon or whatever. So because of that, you get what I'm saying? There's new passions, newfound abundance. Okay? There's this nurturing energy right now around your children. Love your children. Okay? Love on your children. There's this huge nurturing energy and it's nurturing you into a new. Okay? From the reef. All right, so don't be, don't listen to all that negative shit about, oh, the Mercury retrograde going to be something that, no, 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 like, any, don't put that shit in my life, keep that negative shit over there, okay, it's about what have you learned, okay, it's graduation time, baby, it's time to ascend, okay, so, this will be not, of course, this is not a personal, it's a general, okay, um, if you do need a personal, description, Okay, I don't know why I've been getting songs for everybody, but I have. Spirit been really popping, I guess. All this love is in the air. And um, I'm going to sing the song I got for Scorpio. Because I be forgetting these songs. You know what? No, we ain't going to sing the song first. We're going to talk about these angel messages first. All right. So, again, this is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers of the sign of Scorpio. This will be a retrograde special. So, this is for the entire retrograde. What you can expect, what you could expect to get rid of, add game what is the liability who's an asset who is the liability who got to go okay don't open your door for misery okay let that let misery stay the hell outside telling your mom ain't home you can't open the door all right so <laughs> straight like that scorpio i love y'all i'm proud of y'all y'all are truly 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 learning how to express yourselves you're learning how to be receiving Okay, if anything, I wrote down some things that had to die with this retrograde. And right now, incantations is for as well as writing things down. The things that you want to get rid of, that you truly can be real with yourself to want to get rid of. Ask Scorpio, what is it that I truly want? Do I want love or do I want to focus on money? Because I know that Scorpio, a lot of Scorpios are coming out of a tough time, you know. And it all had to do with evolution. That turnaround, okay. So you have to let some things go, let people go, let places go, because they no longer serve you, okay? And with that said, you know, now you're kind of recognizing, you know, who it's safe to express yourself with. A lot of truth and clarity is going to be coming during this time. And again, I'm getting a strong energy for my Scorpios around your children, okay? This is going to be a very, very, very close time to keep an eye out on your children. These energies don't play for a baby, and they play for keeps. And they take them how they they take them how they can get them. And these babies is innocent. 
So definitely this is a time to be praying over your children. A lot of y'all are feeling kind of young and renewed, you know, but Spirit definitely wants you all to know that you are more than protected, okay? For those of you who are kind of down your path or things are falling all around and you're just like, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell? Am I on the right path? I mean, I'm trying to do the right thing. Spirit says keep going. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Push through. It got to rain before the rainbow. And right now, y'all should see that rainbow like... Okay, you should see the pot. That you the, that pot is blinding. Okay, so this is how we rocking. All right, accept the new, but be real with you. All right, what do you want? Pride. You can't buy shit with that. And I'm from Mars, so this is deep. All right, pride. You can't buy shit with that. Ego. You can't take that shit past the heavenly realm. Who? What you gonna do with that? So if that has been one of your blockages during this retrograde, let that be something that die. Because if you don't let it die voluntarily, it's going to do it involuntarily. And that is uncomfortable as the fuck. Don't do it. Listen to me. See it? Okay? So let's get it. No, no, no. I'm recording. <sighs> one second. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. And that's my sister. I love her to death. But I got to get this, you know. I gotta get this message out, honey. Okay, so the first message I got for y'all is a pop light. Okay, and of course, this is the Crystal Angels Doreen Virtue Oracle cards. Okay, but with this a pop light, let me see. It says increased support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. It says this card is a wonderful sign that you receive an increased support so that your needs are met. The support may take from the form may take the form of abundance, emotional comfort, or relief from some of your responsibilities, giving you more time to focus upon your priorities. God is heard and is answering your prayers, which may involve you receiving intuition or ideas to take positive action. Be sure to do so, so that you won't miss the blessings that are being offered to you. These divinely guided actions could include Making healthful lifestyle changes such as improving your exercise, sleep, or eating habits to raise your spiritual vibration, which will in turn attract higher outcomes. This is also encouragement for you to ask for support from God, your loved ones, or a compassionate therapist, or to join the support group. All right, so I feel like, as I stated earlier, I feel this is a time where, you know, let that ego and that pride die. This is you. OK, or if this is outside of you, a prideful person is not a person that can help you grow because they, 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 they can't even see the other side of the plane. They only see a one one damn way spectrum. They don't even see greater is that greater is the on the other side. They don't see it. Y'all, I'm sorry. This Mercury retrograde shit is it, with malls here. It got me fucking it. So if I stutter, 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 stutter stay the hell with me because I know what I'm talking. You know what the hell I said. OK, stay with me. <laughs> All right. So. The next angel message that I got for y'all was Sapphire, okay? It says, easy does it. Your health and happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. I feel strongly, y'all, to tell y'all this has to do with that balance, even at a pop light, that balance between work, love, your children, because I feel like some of y'all are struggling with that balance, okay? And I feel like some of y'all at this time will be reminiscing. Uh, we're very reminiscent on your children, okay? We're reminiscing on all the times and the times that you had, maybe, you know, during this, during a, a period of hardship, and this is what I'm hearing, a period of hardship. Some of y'all had all the time in the world to spend with your children, but because you spent that time stressing out, now you have a job, now you at the job, like, damn, my babies, okay? So try to find a balance, you know, to, to be nurturing to your children and also be very, watch them during this time. I'm feeling this in Scorpio, okay? If you feel something ain't right, trust what you feel, all right? And they go for a nice amount of y'all I'm hearing. If you feel something not right about your children, listen to them, trust them. Some of y'all are going to have some new children, okay? So this is a time to really trust your instincts and your intuition for they both are very keen. Okay, Sapphire. The angels send you this card because you've been pushing yourself past your limits with multitasking, rushing against deadlines, and worrying about other people. You may have also overdone it socializing or partying in your nightlife. Now is the time to rest and get a good and get a good detox or permanent abstinence can help you recover your energy levels and health. This card is also a reminder to stay in the present moment and tackle projects one step at a time to avoid feeling overwhelmed. 
Perhaps you've been overly focused upon the future, anticipating better times and worrying about what lies ahead. Or you may have been con- I'm sorry, or you may have been consumed with past events. You are now guided to concentrate upon your here and now so that you can enjoy life even if your current circumstances aren't ideal. Find the positive in it, baby. It's a positive in everything. You woke up and breathe, to breathe, to fight, to go harder another day. In addition, this can be a sign to retire from a strenuous job or give up a hobby you've outgrown if it puts your physical or mental health at risk. Take it easy and approach life gently. Balance, 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 balance. Let go of what, what let go of what once was if that shit can't help you going forward. What did you learn, my babies? Okay? That is the question. All right, so let's get it. Mother Guy I definitely want to talk to y'all. But this song though. This song that I feel for Scorpio that is really sitting in my third eye and I really want to dance. So I ain't gonna lie, I was flipping cars with everybody else, but I'm gonna rock with y'all with this song. Okay, it's by Jagged Edge, and I believe it's called. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all what it's called in a minute. I got so much love for you in these arms. Don't you know that you're my good luck charm? Loving you forever, girl, and never do I want to go without my good luck charm. And I did see that 11 and 11 fly across this screen. That is Jagged Edge, good luck charm. That is in my opinion. I don't know who's listening to that, whose song that is, or who that's going to resonate with, but it's definitely in my opinion, baby. And that's my jam, okay? Spirit got me jamming today. All right, let's get it. Spirit, what messages are for Scorpio during this retrograde? What are they leaving behind? Who's coming forward? What lessons are to be learned? What is to be gained? What is possibly to be lost? <laughs> Show us all the blessings, the lessons. And please give me a very de- touch on that very strong message about the children. Thank you. All right, Scorpio, let's rock. Can I please dance? All right, so <clears throat> what I'm seeing during this retrograde for for those of you, some of you are, will be returning back to school, okay? Returning back to school, you've been sharpening your skills, kind of polishing up on a craft that you have, getting more knowledge around it. Maybe it was something that you did in the past. But some of you, you're actually getting into the mystical, um, into the mystical arts, okay? You could also be, be a tarot reader. You could be an up-and-coming uh, psychic medium, okay? But you're learning something that is going to bring you very much abundance, okay, going forward. And it is something that you desire, that you're passionate about, okay? I do see that, again, this part of the children, the youth, okay? Some of y'all, especially if you have um, a little little boys, young men, your children right now could be acting out. But just know that your children as well as you are protected. Some of y'all are going to be seeing shooting stars during this time. Those stars, whatever you wish up on, on, wish up on, on those stars are going to bring you that abundance, okay? Ten times fall. I also see that whatever you're manifesting, it is getting ready to come forward, okay? You see that butterfly? Mother guy is getting ready to grant your wishes, okay? And it's going to be something that you desire, all right? I also see some of y'all have definitely met your twin flame. Well, some, for some of y'all do see uh, wedding bells, the big wedding chime bell in my, uh, in my third eye. So I do see some of y'all could also be um, coming into a partnership with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. Some of y'all are getting married, okay? For some of y'all, there is abundant energy around y'all as far as children and expansion, especially with this youth card here, with the abundance card here, as well as the fruits from Gaia, okay? I do see uh, right now this is the time that y'all can be very fertile, okay? So if you're trying to have a baby this during this Mercury Mer- Mer- retrograde, this will be the best time to do so, okay? Because uh, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, okay, whatever it is you're trying to bring to a material, to in this tangible world, it is definitely going to manifest, okay? For some of y'all, y'all could actually be having, be starting new jobs, okay? Or whatever business that you're trying to get off the ground, it is going to be it's blessed, okay? It's blessed. It's going to bring you great abundance, okay? The universe is ready to give back for all the seeds that you've sown, for all the lessons that you've had to learn, for all the losses, don't look at them as losses. The universe wasn't working against you. It's working for you at all times, okay? So for every let down, for every let go, for every let go, <laughs> there's a get that, all right? A get that. For every let go, there's a get back. Let me take that. There's a get back for every let go. Just trust. 
Okay, you have to go through this to learn. Okay, how to identify this soulmate partnership relationship? Because some of y'all definitely water sign. If it's not a water sign, it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, that is not the sign. There's a lot of passion in this relationship, and some of y'all could also be moving toward marriage, especially to for the ones who've been um, in a long term committed relationship. Okay. Don't be surprised if you get an out of the blue marriage because for some of y'all, y'all been praying for this, especially for those who wishing upon it on that star. Y'all, some of y'all, a lot of y'all gonna see a shooting star. It's written in the stars for you, baby. They need you to see something because you know for a Scorpio, seeing is believing. Just have faith. Okay, just have faith that this journey, baby, was not in vain. You had to get to know the dark side of love, the dark side of life. The dark side of partnerships, relationships, all the ships, work, people. You had to get to get in tune with the dark side in order to make a free will choice to know when the light is standing right in front of your face. Okay? So for some of y'all, y'all are leaving behind the past of darkness and being reborn. For a lot of y'all, this is I feel like this man is kinda like this butterfly. He coming out the cocoon, baby. We emerging into a new. We move into this light. Hold it together, my baby. Some of y'all who are dealing with the earth sign, yeah, this person could be trying to hold on to you during this time. <clears throat> I feel like some of y'all intuitively know this is for people who have kind of been in the ups and downs of love. You love this person, but there needs to be truth and clarity before you can make permanent decisions that's going to affect your life, okay? So I feel like whatever it is that you're wishing upon the star, whatever it is that you're wishing to know, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest to the forefront of gaining information on, whatever you think, be careful of your thoughts, because whatever you think, and a lot of y'all starting to see is manifesting very quickly. Be careful, okay? Mars is, Mars is in the building, <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thought I should share that shit, because I had quite the experience. I don't want to talk to y'all about it, because y'all don't want to get the bill, because, oh, man. But be careful, okay? Spirit, what do you have for my Scorpios? Yeah, some of y'all definitely, of course, y'all know y'all got people coming back from the past, all right? For some of y'all, it's definitely a soulmate relationship. I feel like for some of y'all, maybe the relationship in the past wasn't balanced. For a lot of y'all, it could. Uh, for some of y'all, it could be a Virgo. Okay, for a lot of y'all, y'all gonna turn y'all back uh, away from the past, uh, away from the past as far as love and move forward. In doing so, a lot of y'all could be meeting an Aquarius. This Aquarius, somebody's wishing on this star. For a lot of y'all, this Aquarius could be a twin flame for y'all, okay? Some of y'all are, this Aquarius is kind of like pouring out their love to you, I feel, okay? And you're having a hard time moving away from the past because you don't know who to trust, okay? But I feel like that that is coming to balance. That's going to come to terms. Some of y'all are dealing with a Taurus as well. And some of y'all could actually get y'all wish if y'all wishes to move away from a Taurus. The one that got away, baby, will be returning. This person could be a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, but a lot of y'all are going to move into partnership during this Mercury retrograde time. A lot of y'all will be getting married or engaged. Congratulations. The babies is in the building. I told y'all, y'all fertile. Y'all may have a Virgo that y'all walked away from. Uh, you walked away from this person to heal. You felt like this person had um, things that they weren't really sharing with you or maybe some type of... Um, not so good intentions. This could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, but strong emphasis on the Virgo and the Taurus. You feel like this person wasn't telling you everything. Okay, I feel like this full moon cycle has um, kind of gave you some form of clarity. So going into this retrograde, some of y'all have released yourself from this person, okay? And maybe you release yourself from a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this Virgo, and then you meet this Aquarius. This Aquarius, for a lot of y'all, is your twin flame, okay? And you're not going to be able to come into union with this person until you completely learn the lessons and are able to move forward from your past. But some of y'all marriage is definitely in the cards. Some of y'all going to be going to the courthouse um, during this Mercury retrograde. Like, you know what? What the hell are we waiting on? Let's go ahead and tie the knot, okay? Um, <laughs> and congratulations to everybody who's doing that. Some of y'all are waiting on the fire sign to come forward to you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, I feel like in order to move back from, in order to totally move on from this person, you need some form of truth and clarity, okay? But I feel like maybe it's you going to this person to give them um, some truth and clarity, okay? Um, about maybe what happened in the past or why you had to move on. Maybe, especially if there's any part of third party situations or there was information to be learned about this person, but there was no clarity. A lot of y'all are going to be giving clarity during this time or in getting clarity as well. Okay. Yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all are going to be falling in love with an Aquarius. Okay. I mean, and I'm saying like you may. <laughs> Some of y'all are also, um, some of y'all have a Sagittarius, okay, that you could be married to, all right, or 
maybe you feel like this person brings you balance and there's love there, but this person has a lot of options and they always going back to somebody in the past when you make them mad and shit and y'all get into it. You're going to walk away from this person. You're tired of it. You're going to go into something new. Chances are you're going to run into an Aquarius or a water sign that's going to be good to you, baby. Um, some of y'all want to hang, um, hang in there with a current marriage and make it work, okay? There is a lot of love there, but y'all got to move away from past issues and y'all going to be able to, but communicate effectively Scorpio what do you want okay some of y'all are going to try and turn around a situation from the past it could possibly be with the Aries okay um, but I do see you feel like somebody got away from the past you want to work it out you have every resource that you need I feel like you and this person have a friendship or partnership you, you can see yourself doing every shit with this person you're very passionate with this person this person is your wish for some of y'all, y'all kind of been stalking this person, but definitely sure it's an area. You see this little red cardinal bird back here with the queen of wands. So I do see for some of y'all, it's definitely an Aries, okay? You and this person may have reckless communication. Somebody communicates very childishly. I feel like in order for y'all to move forward, you're going to have to speak up for yourself. Don't put your focus into work and just walk away from it or let pride get in the way of true passion, true love here. Y'all going to have to move away from the way that y'all do things in the past, okay? So, yeah, it's going to call for you to make a judgment call, okay? For some of y'all, y'all going to make a judgment in regarding the Virgo who's holding on to y'all due to finances. This person, y'all going to find out truth about a cancer, I'm sorry, cancer, uh, a Virgo, okay, that could be holding on to you for money. I got that fell on top of the Hermit card with the judgment card. This could be a Taurus and a Capricorn as well, but the fact that it fell out on the Hermit, it could definitely be a Virgo that I'm talking about, okay? And I feel like... Some of y'all are not making a decision when it comes to love. Some of y'all are kind of, some of y'all are working two jobs and you having a hard time trying to balance um, your priorities at home. I'm seeing that, okay? You may get an offer from someone, maybe a friend or a family member who wants to help you. Take the damn help, Scorpio. All right? I'm hearing, even my angel said, take, tell them to take the damn help. Take the damn help, okay? Uh, someone from your past could also come in. Could be an earth sign coming in to help you financially, but this person be careful because I feel like this person, if this person manipulated you in the past and gave to you, uh, gave finances to you in order to keep you around, okay, or emotionally manipulated you in a way, you're gonna see this shit before it even hits you again. You're gonna see this shit from a mile coming because you learned to listen the last time. You're gonna see this shit from a mile away. So when you see that shit from a mile away, you're gonna cut the hands so off. Some of y'all are moving away and cutting off the air sign, Gemini Libra, where you're moving away from past issues with this person. Some of y'all, you have a union with an air sign that is protected, okay? You want to move away from this person, but this person keeps coming in. They ain't going no damn well because they're your soulmate, okay? This person brings your life abundance and balance, but I feel like there's a lot of stubbornness, even though both of y'all want to hang around. And that could be any sign I'm hearing. Eight of Wands. All right. Some of y'all... Someone who rejected you in the past, this could be a fire sign or a water sign, okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you moved away from this person in the past. This person may have felt, may have left you feeling rejected. You're going to go toward this person, or this person is going to uh, come towards you. I feel like y'all are going to be able to move away from the past issues, but ultimately, as far as the love portion of it, I feel like there can be passion between y'all. Y'all can hold it together, but y'all going to have to cut off the, cut off the, the holding on and the resentment for the past, okay? And I'm not saying, y'all, this could definitely be this other person because this energy in this in this reading is popping, all right? I do see you could have had a third-party situation with an Aquarius and another water sign. That said, it's going to be coming to the forefront, especially if it's on the outside of you. I strongly feel like a lot of y'all have love for, a, I'm sorry, for a Virgo Capricorn Taurus, okay? This person brings your life great abundance. I feel like this person is your good luck charm. But I feel like there's a need to communicate about um, emotional manipulation, I'm hearing. Literally, emotional manipulation. Yeah, I help you with finances. I help you, but you got to do this for me. No, 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 no. If you're going to bring my life abundance, you need, to, you, need to, you need to have that desire in order to do so. You need to want to do that because you love me, because you care, because you are sincere about it. Not to keep me. That's, that narcissistic shit, you're going to be moving away from that. A lot of y'all are going to recognize you have a lot of narcissistic ass people around y'all. Because that energy is strong in y'all reading right now. Some of y'all have, <laughs> some of y'all have a Sagittarius that you have a family with, okay? You have kids with this person. Maybe you want a family dynamic with this person, but this person 
is wanting only sex. Okay, I feel like y'all gonna be cutting this person the fuck off. Y'all gonna tell them, look, you gonna give me what I want. I want marriage, so you're not gonna hang around me anymore if you can't give me what I want. Okay, straight like that. All right, it's hanging. Why is this hanging in here? Why is this hanging in here? I just hang in here. Some of y'all are hanging on to a relationship due to money. This person is gonna move away from you if that's the case. Mother Kwame is on the move. Some of y'all have an air sign, like I said, hanging around y'all. They keep hanging in hanging on to the relationship because at this time, baby, during this retrograde, they wanna water their own damn grass. Okay, they wanna offer that new beginning, okay, and go into a new cycle. Scorpio, you're going into a new cycle, my babies, okay? For some of y'all, y'all can be dealing with a cancer, okay? Y'all can definitely have a victorious relationship with a cancer, but equal and pride must die. Y'all have a uh, great abundance. For some of y'all, I feel like who's going into that new cycle with that cancer, this person is going to be your husband or your wife. All right? This person is definitely a good love charm. With new love comes that abundance. I do see kid energy, and I do see y'all in the next two months. For these people, for Scorpio who marrying cancer, congratulations for the next two months. Y'all better be careful with them babies can't. Bloop! Okay? Because the abundance is here. All right, you see that rabbit? Mm hmm. Y'all better be careful. All right. What is Scorpio's? Hmm. The new, the new, new, my babies. The new, new is coming for you. For some of y'all, it's funny, I just spoke about them babies, and here you go. So, Spirit was just confirming, okay? Y'all, during this summer, see that sun, that sun booming and illumining? During this summer, y'all. Y'all could be having these babies. Congratulations, because you know Mocha love the kids. I'm just saying, if you don't want children right now, you want to focus on your career, be careful, okay? Because that energy is very, is very, very, very strong. Y'all have to let go of a lot of narcissistic people. Y'all going to be moving away from narcissistic people from your past. And they only coming back, y'all, because it's pop quiz time, okay? But a lot of y'all going to be moving away from shit. You're going to be moving away from people, places and things that do not serve you. And it's going to bring nothing but newness abundance toward the things that you desire mother is ready to give to you every every for every damn seed you have sown baby it's time to bear the fruits and you know it you just feel it new new okay just trust my babies trust and just know and mother gonna show herself balance is coming the way that you look at things is about to change. The way that you look at certain people and what they bring into your life is about to change. The way you value money and the way you value your family and your values are about to change. Change. Y'all might be seeing 555 all the time because it's in the building. Change is coming, my babies. But it's for the best possible outcome. Just trust it because it's beautiful. Let me show y'all how beautiful this is one more time before I let y'all go. I mean, look at this. Who could ask for more? Who could ask for more? It's crazy. Who could ask for more? Scorpio, you live in your best life. You had to go through this journey, and it's still a journey, but you had to go through it. Brought you with me knowledge. <laughs> so that you could plant seeds and what you wishing for, that hard work, you see that butterfly? Mother's trying to give it to you. Trust your intuition and your dreams. And you see, for those of you I'm seeing, somebody seeing they're receiving envelopes in your dreams, you are going to get that unexpected downfall. You just feel it. That's why you're getting up every, every day just feeling that little surge of electricity in your belly. Just trust it and keep doing the things that you desire. Never doubt it. You coming out of one cycle and you're going into another. A beautiful one. A beautiful one. That brings you abundance. An overflow. Five and a ten. That's fifteen. Six. Harmony. Three harmony. <laughs> and balance. Tell your twin flame, I say, hey. Tell wifey hubby, I say, hey. Congratulations. Just have faith. And them stars that y'all see shooting, y'all come in when y'all see them. Because I keep seeing shooting stars. 
Come in, let me know what you, don't tell me what you wish for. Just know it's coming, because you're going to get it. I love y'all. Until the 1st to the 15th, if you need that personal, hit me up. Hit up the kid. Bye, babies.